Hi guys, in this lecture we are going to integrate FB SDK log in our React Native project. So we are going to use the SDK React Native FB SDK next. So previously it was React Native FB SDK. Currently what happened? React Native FB SDK is depreciated by by Facebook. So if you just look into the React Native FB SDK, you cannot see any documentation because this is already depreciated by Facebook has ended officially support for react native wrapper so here i am going to use react native fbstk next so i already created my project if you are not able to create the project you can run the command npx react native init fb login example app fb login example app so it will create a react native project i already created that project and the project is running on my device you can see now what i am going to do i am going to open the project in my vs code here is the code we can remove all this unwanted importing and coding so we can just remove this one we can remove the section part also we can remove this section also and we can remove by default code which is generated by react native so we can just add a view view style flex equal to 1 background color red okay so we can just add this one and we can remove the style okay we can make this as simple functional component we can remove the node so we can make this as a simple functional component sorry yeah fine now if i refresh the screen you can see a app is running on my device with the background color red now we can just install our react native fbstk uh, next library so you can just copy this one paste it here Yes, it will install the library in our project. Currently, we are only looking for Android, so we can just uh, make the changes for Android only. So it is installing the library. Yes, the package is installed successfully. Now the next thing is we have to create a Facebook developer account and need to create an app. For that one what you have to do click on the get started gate. So it will open our Facebook developer account. Here you can see get started for Android. It will get to here. So it will ask to select an application. We can just to select an application. None select app type we can select none for now then we can just type login example for now we can just type login example create the app it will ask our fp password we can just type fp password yes it will create a project in our uh, in our uh, dashboard here you can see meta app delivers if the project is created you can see the name login example what you have to do click on the settings basics so you can see app id app secret uh, app domain contact i need to add the privacy policy url so we can just copy uh, privacy policy of just academy so you can just add your own so you can just add it here same for uh, terms and service terms you need to add the app logo here and just find save changes you can click the save changes so we have completed the initial setup for android so what the next thing is we need to create SHI keys and package name so we can just uh, jump into that one now we need to add platform in our project so here what you can see here here you can see on the bottom you can see an add platform button click on the add platform 
we are going to add for android here you can select android if you are going to do for ios you can select ios from here click on the next here you can see the google play store click on the play store next so it will add the it will add the android now you click on the quick start so it will open the uh, setup for quick start so you can do you can see the settings whatever we need to do in our project so what we can do copy this app id into our uh, main first file so you can see app id so we need to add this in our main first so src main resource values string.xml so we can just go into our project src values string.xml we can just add the id so you can just close verify the id from here you hear the same id you can just copy from here also if you have any queries you can just paste it here clear now the next thing is we need to add the permission for internet we can just go here main first file internet permission now here you can see the metadata we need to add this metadata inside uh, application so go here click on the main first file so it should be inside application before activity so we can just add it here find the metadata should be here and i need to do one more thing so what what in what i need to do just copy activity settings into here so we can just paste this one more line this line i will paste in my description activity and dot name com dot facebook dot react dot dev support dot dev settings activity this also need, you need to add in the application tag it's clear so we have added our application id which is you need to make sure that this id and the id which is your pasted in string xml file should be same and also you need to add this uh, dev settings activity also clear now the next thing we can just check out our documentation yes tell us about your android project so we need to paste our package name so go to the project android main first file you can see the package name here paste it and we need to also add the activity copy the activity here you can see dot main activity next so add your development release key hashes this is the hashes key which we need to paste here we need to add that one so we can just paste also the uh, package name from here also copy the package name copy the class name also now we need to uh, generate hash key so we can just go for the command so here is that how to generate development key hashes just click on this one here you can see the uh, command to generate hash keys copy this one go to the root of the project so here is the root of the project just clear all the other command paste it so it will generate the key hashes we can just copy the key hashes paste it here yes it pasted now what we need to do we need to save the changes yes it saved the, all the changes clear after saving you can see the key hashes here your package name and your class name clear it's also also in created a refer description key here and if you need to add uh, ios you can just click here and you can add ios from here clear so we are not going to jump ios uh, integration in this lecture we will cover in the upcoming lecture now we need to build the application once more because we have already done with a lot of changes so we can just type npm run android so it will install the application once more in our device yes you can see it is installing now meanwhile we can just go to the implementation here you can see lot of implementation with the login button with the login uh, manager i am not going to use any of this one i am going to use how to use graph api with react native because graph api will help you to get the user detail from our token so we can just check out this one how to use graph api with react native sd api react native bsdk so you can see a lot of examples here so what i am going to do 
yes i am going to use this example because this is using graph request api here i can see the details so we can just copy this one to our project so you can just copy all this one into our project so meanwhile we can also just wait to complete the installation yes the installation is going to be completed yes we can just check out fine the installation is completed the app is installing in our project now meanwhile we can just copy our code into our vs code yes paste it here fine now we need to import all this thing we need to import login button so import login button and we need to import access token so you can just import access token and also we need to import graph request so you can just import graph request from react native fbstk next and also we can just align this button into sender align item to sender and justify content to the sender yes fine now if I open the application I can see logout because I already logged in so I just log out log out now what we need to we can just open our flipper this is our flipper and just reload the application once more the flipper is connected now if I click login yes the application is asking to log in so I just click continue yes here you can see uh, it is giving me the uh, uh, alert token it is which is coming from here so what I need to do I need to import graph request manager which is I missed so you can just import graph request uh, yes graph request manager which I need to print here graphicus also we need graphicus manager also we need also we can just console this info request here fine now we can just try once more here I need to log out once more just refresh the function reload open the flipper remove all the console we can just click login it asked me to login click on the continue button yes alert is coming and also I am getting the detail here you can see JAS Academy my ID which is the account which I have used to login clear fine now if you are facing key hashish issue in react native FBSTK login what you have to do I will just give a uh, troubleshoot for that one copy the command to generate uh, key store uh, sorry firstly go to the android then paste the command to generate uh, SHI keys so it will generate our SHI key so copy the SH1 key from here then uh, go to this project hex to base 64 conversion you can see this uh, website will convert hexadecimal to base 64 so just paste it and click convert yes it will convert copy this value from here and paste into our here you can see you can see I already added paste this value into our key hashes you can add any number of value into key hashes so this will remove our uh, hash key does not match issue and this will also need to do with the production key store also okay
so we can jump into the next lecture